Hello everybody. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to replace your spark plugs. And I'll be demonstrating this on my 2002 Acura TL Type S with 315,000 miles. The concept is generally easy. It involves removing this ignition coil, taking out the spark plug, putting the new spark plug back in, and putting the ignition coil back on. But before we begin, let's look up a couple specifications as far as which parts we're gonna need and how often these spark plugs need to be changed. So we're gonna grab our owner's manual and look up a few specifications. The first one being the mileage interval, which on my car is every 105,000 miles. The next one is the torque specification, which for my car is 13 foot-pounds. It's very important to precisely torque these down because if they're too loose, the spark plug can overheat and damage the engine, just like if they're over-torqued, you can damage the fragile aluminum threads on the cylinder head, and then you're going to be in for a real world of hurt. And then the last one is the part number. So there is a different part number for the base model and the Type S model, and I highly recommend the NGKs. So we're going to go on the NGK website and find our part. Now we're going to find our NGK spark plugs, and we're going to come to ngk.com and enter our vehicle. I've got a 2002 Acura TL Type S. Find parts. And we're going to narrow our search by selecting spark plugs. And then we're going to enter our spark plug part number. Here it is. I've got the laser platinums, which is what the manual asks for. And then depending on whether you've got a four cylinder or a V6, you'll enter the respective quantity of spark plugs. I've got a V6 in my car and you'll add to cart. I've done a bunch of shopping around and I found that they are actually cheapest on this website compared to places like AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, Napa Auto Parts, etc. You could also get these on eBay. However, you run the risk of, believe it or not, getting fake spark plugs. And trust me, you do not want to put fake spark plugs in your vehicle. So I would highly recommend just buying them directly from NGK.com and being assured that you are getting an OEM part. Here's just a quick look at the packaging. In Japan. And then here's the nice shiny spark plug itself. You can I see it says Japan in the silvery part there, as well as the part number on the whitish part. So first, we have to remove this piece of plastic trim, and we're going to need a flathead screwdriver, and we're going to unscrew that screw, unscrew that one, and it should come off pretty easy. There's a little tab right here you need to pull up on. And there you have it. Next, we're going to need a six millimeter Allen wrench, and we're going to remove these three bolts right here holding the ignition coils in. They come off generally easy. Just break it loose. There we go. One more. All right and we're gonna remove those bolts. Next, we're gonna take the little electrical connector, there's a little push tab, and we're gonna remove each of these three electrical connectors from the ignition coil. There we go. Next, we gotta remove the ignition coils. Some might be stuck on there a little bit more than others. This one was already pretty loose, but what you can do is you can kind of twist them to get them started and kind of work them out like that. Same thing with this one, we'll try and just twist it. There we go. And now we can remove the ignition coil. Do be careful with these as they're pretty pricey. Set that off to the side. And now we're gonna get some 
socket equipment. We're gonna need an extension and a deep socket 5 eighths. And we're gonna put it right on in there. Make sure it's grabbing the spark plug. And then you can remove it. There we go. Came undone pretty easy, actually. And we can unscrew it the rest of the way by hand. There we go, it feels pretty loose. And then there are two ways you can get the spark plug out of there. One easy way is to actually use the ignition coil again. You just kind of put it in there. And out comes the spark plug. Oop, almost. There we go. Or if you also have one, there are special sockets with a little rubber grip inside them and you attach it to your socket. It basically looks like another 5 ace, and you just push it really hard on the spark plug and it pulls right on out. But I feel that is a lot easier as you just saw. And with the old spark plug out, we can now put the new spark plug in. And one note I wanna make is you do not need to put anti-seize on the threads of these new NGK spark plugs. And I would assume that goes for most other brands of spark plugs as well. But specifically, I know for a fact the NGKs, you do not need to. That is because they come manufactured with an anti-seize-like coating on them already that performs that job for you. Uh, I'm going to post the link here from the NGK website now uh, with a little more information on that. So now we can take our new spark plug and we can drop it down on in there. And we're going to take our extension with a regular deep socket 5 eighths. And I'm going to start it on in there. And we are going to tighten it by hand. Just to ensure that we don't cross the threads or strip the threads or anything like that. There we go. It is now tightened by hand. We can next torque it down to 13 foot-pounds. We can now... Put the ignition coil back in. There we go. And then we can put these hex bolts back on. Then you can either just snug that bolt down by hand or you can torque it down to nine foot pounds. I love my torque wrench, it's my favorite tool, so I use it whenever I get the chance. There we go. And then last but not least, you can put the little electrical connector back on and it's the exact same process for all six of them so now that we got the general concept down on the front three which are the easier ones now we're going to move on to the back ones and again it is the exact same process however it's just a matter of uh, them being more difficult due to maneuvering your tools and having a tight workspace back there so let's do those next and again we need a six millimeter Allen wrench. And what I like to do is I like to literally just lay on the engine from the front of the vehicle. And then you can reach your hand over this crossbar here. And I'm gonna remove those Allen keys. Start with the left one here. Focus. There we go. Okay, we broke that one loose. There we go, we got my key in there. I'm gonna break this one loose. There we go. And we'll go the other way with the wrench this time. Normally it was sticking this way, now it's kind of sticking to the left. Here. Now it's on there good. There we go. And they're all broken loose. And now we can remove them by hand the rest of the way. Now we gotta remove the electrical connectors. And since it's a little cramped back there, one thing you can use is a needle nose pliers like these. 
and this will really help in getting them out. Just wiggle it right on off. That's that one. There's number two. And then with this last one here, this one's a little harder, but since we remove the bolts first, we can kind of angle it a little bit towards us. And pull it off like that. There we go. And now we can remove the ignition coil. And so now for removing the rear spark plugs, it's a matter of just finding the right combination of extensions. So we still need our deep socket 5 eighths. And then in total, I've got about six inches in extensions. I've got this long five inch one. And then just for a little extra leverage, I've got a one inch at the end there. Then for the rear middle spark plug, we're able to use that same setup. Yeah, they're all coming undone very easy. And when I did this 105,000 miles ago, again, I did not use any anti-seize. So it goes to show that the coating that they use on these plugs does work pretty good. The last one on the leftmost side there, or the passenger side, we're gonna need just a little bit more extension, mainly because of this tube right here, kinda gets in the way. So we've removed that little one inch extension off the end, and we've got our original setup here. Plus, we're also gonna use an additional three inch extension with our ratchet, but we can't put this all in at once, so we're gonna start with just this piece here. Every single one of them broke loose, no problem. And now again, like we did with the front, we can use the ignition coil here to remove the spark plug. With the old spark plugs out, we can now drop the new spark plugs in. I'm gonna tighten them by hand. There we go. And now it's time to torque them down to 13 foot pounds again. So we've already got our tool in the leftmost one. So now we've got to take our torque wrench and we've already got our three inch extension on there. Remember from last time we needed just a little bit more extension for this one than the others. All right, with our torque wrench in place, we can now torque it to 13 foot pounds. And spark plug number two in the middle, we'll torque that down to 13 foot-pounds. And then we'll torque down number three. And let's put our ignition coils back in. Then we can put the electrical connector back on. And remember, before you 
actually put the bolt in, you can give yourself a little rotation wiggle room to maneuver the electrical plug on there. And then you can just kind of push it down on in place. Same thing with the other one here. And number three. There we go, that's all three of those. Then we can take our little hex bolts and put those back in. Torque down the hex Allen nut to nine foot pounds again. And torque the middle one down to nine foot pounds. And we're gonna torque that left one down, lastly, also to nine foot pounds. And then last but not least, we can put this piece of trim back on. There we go. Take our screwdriver. Righty tighty. Righty tighty. Take our little pin. And we are all finished. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video could be helpful for you guys today. Feel free to leave a comment. I'm pretty good at getting back to people. And also check out the description. I'll leave some links and additional information there. So have a great day and take care.